guys, welcome back. Today we are gonna be decluttering all of my lip products. If you're new here, I've been doing this series on my channel where I'm decluttering different sections of my makeup and so far I've done eyeshadows and bronzers, blushes, and highlights. I will leave those videos linked in the description box and in cards up above, just so that you guys can check them out if you haven't seen them yet. And I'm also going to make a playlist so that you guys can watch them all at once if you want to. But today is just gonna be my lip products. I have quite a few that I need to get rid of because I have a lot of lip products that I just don't wear or use. But we're just gonna go ahead and get started. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They will be linked in the description box as well. And Turn on that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. So let's go ahead and jump into this declutter. Okay guys, so here we are. This is my lip drawer. I have some primers back here, so ignore those. Um, those are for another video. I have lip balms here. I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of any lip balms today, so ignore that as well. These are all of my lip products. This is what I'm going to be going through, focusing on getting rid of. Um, I have this big box here. I think I'm going to pour all of the products just into this box. Just throw them all in here and then I'll go through them. And the ones I'm keeping, I'll put back in my drawer and the rest are going to go into this little container here. Everything I'm getting rid of is going to go in there. So first we're going to, like I said, dump all of the products into this box. That way I don't have to go through these containers and try to figure out what I looked through and what I didn't. bring this back a little bit. It doesn't look like as many when they're in this box because this is a huge box and the lip products are just all at the bottom. Some people have like a box this full. I don't have that many, but I have these. So we're gonna go through them. I know I'm gonna have like a really hard time with like the lip glosses and stuff because those are my favorite. So I'm just gonna dive into it randomly and pick ones out. Elf Lip Oil and Nude Kiss. I know I wanna keep this, I really like it. Uh, I know I'm keeping my Fenty Gloss Bombs. I have the shades Fenty Glow and Fussy. So I'm putting these back in my drawer. Some more products I want to keep. I have a Ulta Juice Infused Lip Oil. I love this one. This is amazing. I might swatch some of these, but I don't know how many I'll actually swatch. So we will see. That goes back into the drawer. I've got some nude glosses here, and I have too many nude glosses, so... I need to get rid of some. These are actually quite similar. I have this ColourPop Moonchild Lip Gloss. This one is in my project pan, so I am gonna be keeping this one. I'll leave that in a card if you haven't watched it yet. I also have this Flower Beauty Lip Gloss in Classic Nude and this e.l.f. Lip Lacquer in the shade Natural. This e.l.f. one I'm gonna get rid of because I pretty much never wear it and it's just not that great. It's okay, but I like these more. Like I said, I know I'm keeping this one. I don't know about the flower one. I feel like it's really beautiful, but I just don't know if I'll wear it, especially since I'm using that ColourPop one all the time. Oh, this one is kind of tricky. I might put this in a maybe pile. Let's grab some more lip glosses. I have this Maybelline Shine Shot Clear Gloss, and I do like this, but the main reason I want to keep it is just because I'm going to be doing some weddings this summer, and I want to have a good clear gloss that doesn't have like an applicator so it's like sanitary to use um because this one I just squeeze out and then I'll apply it so I'm going to keep this one mainly for that and then I have this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Stilo. This is an awesome gloss. It's a really great dupe for the original Fenty Gloss Bomb. I feel like I don't need it because I have the Fenty Gloss Bomb so I don't really need both but it is such a great gloss but at the same time, I do feel bad keeping it just because of the fact that I already have the Fenty one. Um, so maybe I'll give it to someone else who doesn't have the Fenty gloss or can't afford it. Just because I feel bad holding on to it since the Fenty gloss is like pretty much the same. I also have this L'Oreal Infallible 8 Hour Pro Gloss in the shade Dolce de Leche. Yep. So this one was also in my dupe video for the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb, the original one. But I did say that it wasn't... As close of a dupe I just don't think it's an actual dupe even though it is a pretty gloss and I do love this formula um, but I am gonna get rid of this one because I actually have another L'Oreal infallible gloss in the shade blush and this one is more of a dupe for the shade fussy but I do really like it even though I already have fussy um, 
I really like this one as well, so I do want to keep this one. This one is in the shade Blush. This is more of a dupe for the Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. And I do have that one, but this is just so pretty. I don't want to let it go, even though it's pretty much the same thing, or at least very similar. These two were also in the Fussy Dupes video. I know I want to keep the L'Oreal and Camila Cabello one. This is the Havana Collection Lip Dew in Camila. Um, this is really pretty. It smells like the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream line. So I'm going to keep that. This Revlon Gloss in the shade Pinkissimo. This is really pretty. I know it looks like such a bright pink shade, but it actually is really pretty on the lips. I just don't know if I want to let it go because I don't know how much I'll wear it, but I think I'm going to put it in the maybe pile. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir Lip Oil in the shade Orange Zest. This is beautiful. I'm definitely keeping this. I can swatch it for you guys. It's like a really pretty like orangey lip oil. It's so gorgeous and it smells like candy. I'm keeping that. I'm also keeping the ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Gloss in the shade Audis. This is a really fun, bright, summery red color and it's just like a tingly minty gloss. I think it's really pretty. It is sticky though, so keep that in mind, but I have some sheer lip products that we're going to talk about. I really don't want to get rid of any of these because I love them. This is the Revlon Balm Stain in the shade High End Coral. This is really pretty. I can't wait to wear this for summer. I also like this All May Smart Shade Butter Kiss Lip in New Light Medium. This is really pretty as well. I'm keeping these. This ColourPop blotted lip in sucker oh, i really like this one as well but i never wear it i need to wear it this summer i think i'm going to keep it and see how much i wear it this summer because i do really really love it but i just i don't know how much i'll actually wear it i think i'm going to get rid of this maybelline lipstick in mesmerizing magenta i kept this in case i ever wanted to do like a really fun bright colorful makeup look i just feel like i never use it and holding on to it for that is kind of pointless because it'll probably never happen so i'm just going to get rid of this one i have another maybelline lipstick in warm me up this is a really pretty just kind of like classic mobby nude shade it's this one right here it is really nice i just feel like i don't wear it enough because i have all these other nude lipsticks but i am going to keep this one because i do really like it um i'm going to get rid of this little mini tart tardiest lip paint this one is in the shade birthday suit i don't even know why i still have this i literally never wear it it's a little mini size i mean it's probably just needs to be thrown away but i'm gonna get rid of it because it's it's just pointless i never wear it i have some deeper lip colors here i don't wear deep lip colors hardly ever only in the fall time and even then it doesn't happen that often so i need to get rid of some of these dark lip colors. So first I've got this Rimmel Kate lipstick in the shade 11. I think I actually decluttered this last year, but nobody ended up taking it and so I just grabbed it and kept it because I did think it was really pretty, but let's be real, I'm just never going to wear this. I'm gonna get rid of it. I have this exclusive collection L'Oreal lipstick in Zoe's Red. This is a really, really nice deep red shade. Um, it's really pretty, so I am going to keep it for the fall because this is like the perfect fall shade. Milani's Matte Flirty. This is like a berry shade and it is really pretty, but I actually prefer the Berry Bossy shade by Maybelline. So they are a bit different, but I like the Maybelline one better. So I'm going to keep the Maybelline one and get rid of the Milani one. I'm going to get rid of both of these. This one is Lolita by Kat Von D. I just don't ever wear this shade and to be honest i am not even a fan of this formula it is very very dry and kind of chalky and it just goes on the lips weird so i'm going to get rid of this one again that is lolita by kat von d this one is a matte lipstick in the shade wicked this is from like a local brand um rig and co this is a hair salon I actually got my hair cut there and they gave me like a little goodie bag with some stuff and I don't even think I've tried this on my lips. I might have swatched it once, but ooh, dang, wow. I was going to get rid of this, but this is like a really deep plum shade. It's almost like a glossy lipstick, but it's a deep 
plum shade. I kind of want to try this on right now before I decide to get rid of it. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. Again, another lip product going in there. Got some red lipsticks. I need to go through my red lipsticks because I probably just have too many. Definitely keeping my Wet n Wild Stoplight Red. This is a classic. It's beautiful. It's like a couple dollars. I love it. Um, ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Rev. This is the Kathleen Lights Trio, or it's from the Kathleen Lights Trio, and I love it. I'm keeping it. Also keeping the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in Ocean Avenue. This is going to be really pretty for summer. It's kind of like a sheer but still matte formula. It's a lot better than their like ultra matte lipsticks. I definitely prefer it. I also have the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Ambush. This is like a classic red. It's like a Christmassy red shade, so I'm definitely going to keep this for that kind of thing. I also have this Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in Romance. I really, really love this formula. I really do. Ooh, man, I always forget how much I like this color. This is such a beautiful color, and it smells so good. I just feel like I never wear this. Should I keep it? Oh, I feel so bad keeping it because I never wear it. It's gonna go in the maybe. <laughs> I can't help it. Okay, I'm definitely gonna get rid of this ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Mars. This is like a bright, hot pink shade. I'm just not a fan of this formula. This is the Ultra Matte Lip, like I said. Don't love this formula, and for that reason, I'm gonna get rid of it. Also, I don't really wear this color. I do want like one bright pink, but that's not it. I have some more deep lip products here. I've got this e.l.f. pen thing in the shade Cranberry. This is like a lip crayon thing. I don't know. This is pointless. I'm not keeping this. I will never wear it. I'm gonna keep Wet n Wild Cherry Bomb. Ugh, I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna keep Wet n Wild Cherry Bomb, but I that lipstick, the rig lipstick that I put in my Maybe palette, I'm just gonna get rid of this because looking at these two side by side, they're very similar, but this one that I got from that hair salon is kind of like a glossy finish, so I don't feel like I need both, and I like the formula of the Wet n Wild ones. I know I'll like it, so I'm going to get rid of that rig one. I'm going to keep the Wet n Wild one. I'm also going to keep the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Chateau. Guys, I don't think this is available anymore, but this is bomb. This lipstick is so freaking long-lasting. It has the most insane freaking pigment. This is their Matte X formula, by the way. It has so much pigment, it is so opaque, it lasts for literally ever, and I'm definitely keeping that. You know what, now that I'm looking at it, that one is almost the exact same shade as the Wet n Wild one. Oh my gosh, the Cherry Bomb by Wet n Wild. It's like literally the exact same shade. But I feel bad getting rid of the Wet n Wild one, even though they're so similar, because I do really like it. They're so similar. Man, I don't know. I'm gonna keep both, I think. Just because I love, just because they're different formulas and I feel like I would use them for different occasions, kind of. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. This is such a beautiful nudie pink lipstick. I wouldn't call it a gloss at all. It's like a moussey formula, but it smells amazing and it is just really beautiful on the lips. It lasts and I'm definitely keeping that one. I'm gonna get rid of this NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. I have worn this so many times. This is in the shade Soft Spoken, but I haven't worn it in forever. Like, I used to wear this a lot. It's a really beautiful shade, but I just feel like the formula's kinda gotten to the place where it's like, it's kinda done, it's kinda over. It's like, maybe I should throw this away, kinda thing. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I have another one that's actually really similar, I think. This is. ColourPop Barracuda. This is their Ultra Satin Lip. Yeah, yeah, this is super similar to that one, just a little bit deeper, so I'm gonna keep this one. I just prefer the formula a lot more. Some more ColourPop lip products. Dang, I got a lot of ColourPop. So I have, these are all Ultra Satin Lips, actually. This one is from the Kathleen Lights Trio. It's in the shade Dreamy. I'm definitely keeping this because I love it and it's just super beautiful. I'm also going to keep Point Zero. This is another collab with Kathleen Lights. I love this. It's such a unique brownie, taupey kind of lip shade. Everybody always asks me what I'm wearing when I wear that. This one is in the shade Strip, and this is like my all-time favorite nude lipstick. I freaking, freaking love this shade. It is just the perfect neutral nude tone. I love the formula. It has literally been worn to crap. I wear that whenever I want to wear a good nude lipstick, and I don't know what to wear. 
Also keeping Aquarius from ColourPop, this is a lippy stick. This one is something that I constantly forget about. I don't know why I'm always forgetting about this lipstick. I forget that I have it. But this is the most creamy, gorgeous formula. Like, it is super, super creamy. And it's really beautiful. Um, I just need to remember to wear it more because I feel like I constantly forget to wear it. Here's a new lipstick that I made. <laughs> this was a while ago. I did that thing that I had done with my highlight that I mentioned in my other video where I mixed like all of my nude lipsticks together and melted them down, mixed them together, and put them in a little lipstick compact. And I actually really, really like the shade. This is a really pretty nude. There it is on the little corner of my knuckle. It's really pretty. I like it. I like this formula too. <laughs> All of them mixed together. So I'm going to keep that for sure. Also keeping Lumiere by ColourPop because this is in my project pan. I'm using it up right now. Okay, this is the Tardis Lip Paint in Home Slice. Guys, this formula is freaking insane. This is so matte. It will not budge. It literally stays on forever. And I do really, really like this lipstick, but at the same time, I don't really feel like I wear it and I don't need it. I did put this in my top 10 lipsticks video that I did like last summer or something. And I feel so bad to get rid of it because it's in that video. But if I really, really think about it, I kind of think that I like this ColourPop one better. The Ultra Satin Lip in Dreamy. They're both kind of similar shades but the Tarte one lasts way longer and it's way more matte, but it's not as comfortable. I just prefer a more comfortable lip these days. I don't really go for a matte liquid lipstick. It's just not my thing, even though it lasts forever. I just don't really ever reach for it. So I'm gonna go with that one, I'm putting this one back in the door because I'm keeping that ColourPop one. You know what? I just realized I called this the Revlon Balm Stain. This is the Revlon Cushion Lip Tint. This is the Revlon Balm Stain. This is in the shade Romantic. It's a really pretty sheer red lip product. Then I also have this Julep lip product. I just swatched both of these on the back of my hand. This is the Revlon one right here, and this is the Julep one over here. So they're completely different tones, even though they're very similar in formula. The Julep one is this hydrating lip sheer in the shade Crimson. This packaging is absolutely stunning. It's like this magnetic close. It's really hard to close because there's such a tiny little hole there for the lip product to go into, but I really like this packaging. It's so pretty. I'm going to keep this because they're different shades, even though they're kind of similar formulas. Guys, we're almost done. I have these Bare Minerals mini lipsticks that I got. I talked about these in my TJ Maxx haul. That is where I found them. I got this little collection of Bare Minerals lipsticks for $9.99, all of these lipsticks. And yes, they may be minis, but there is so much product in these. It's crazy. They're all like kind of nude neutral shades. I don't really feel like I need all of these Bare Minerals lipsticks because they're similar shades. And I don't know, I just, like I said, I don't really feel like I need them all. But I do really, really love this formula, so I feel like it's gonna be hard to get rid of any, but I'm gonna swatch all of them and just kind of figure out which shades I like the most because I don't need them all. Okay, so that is Crave. It's like more of like a pinky shade, like a pop of pink. Then we have Panko. Ooh, this is like a really earthy shade. I'm definitely keeping that. It's like a, kind of like more of like a deep, pretty earthy shade. Like it's hard to explain. Then I have Tutu. I actually prefer that to the shade Crave because it's just a little bit more toned down. So we're gonna put that back in there and I'm gonna get rid of Crave for sure because I like Tutu better. Then we have Notorious. Ooh, this is a good, this is a good nude right there. That's like a really pretty, again, like earthy nude. I don't know, I just like that neutral shade. We also have the shade Crush. This is like a super light nude. I don't really feel like this is something that I'll ever wear just because of how light it is. It's almost like concealer lips. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna keep this one. I've got XOX. Ooh, this one. This is really pretty. It kind of reminds me of Lumiere, the ColourPop lipstick, so I don't really need it if it's that similar to that one, but it is really pretty. I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. Then we've got the shade Queen. This is like a really deep shade. I haven't even swatched this one yet. I don't even know what it looks like swatched. Okay, it's like a deep lipstick that's like that glossy finish. I just don't really know if that's my thing in this type of a formula. Like, I love this type of formula, but in a deep lip shade like that, I just don't think this is something that 
I will ever end up wearing. So for that reason, I'm gonna get rid of it. Then we have the shade Nudist. This is again a very light nude shade, but it's a lot more of a neutral tone versus this one, which is like a pinky tone. I don't really feel like I need either of these though because I don't really feel like I'll wear either of them. Am I really gonna get rid of all these? I can't get, I'm getting rid of five and only keeping three. Maybe we'll keep Nudist for now. And if I find something really similar, then we'll get rid of it. But I'm going to get rid of XOX. I have this Revlon lipstick in pink in the afternoon. You guys know I love this. I've talked about it before. It is such a pretty pinky shade. Kind of like similar to some of these shades. But it's still very different because it has more of like a corally shift to it. And it's just a lot more wearable in my opinion. It doesn't have as much of a cool toned pink undertone. Definitely keeping this because I really love this. Guys, I'm talking way too much. This video is getting way too long. I'm going to shut up. Okay, we have Bite Beauty Buttercream Lipstick in the shade Cream. I have raved about this before. I love it so, so much. But I never wear it anymore. But I'm still keeping it. I know I'm keeping it because I love it so much. I feel like it is very similar to the shade Nudist from the Bare Minerals collection that I talked about. It's just a lot more neutral and this one's a little bit more pink. They are very similar, but I'm gonna get rid of this, the Bare Minerals one. Yeah, the shade Nudist in the Bare Minerals one, I'm gonna get rid of because I don't need it if I have this Bite one. I love the Bite one. So then I'm gonna put these Bare Minerals lipsticks in there. I have another Bite lipstick. This is in the shade Chai. Ugh, this is so pretty. I love this so much. I know I'm not getting rid of it. It's just a really pretty like fall shade. Yeah, I really like this one. I'm definitely keeping it. I've got a nude lipstick here in the shade Delish. This is a CoverGirl lipstick. Uh, I don't know. I never wear this. It's very opaque, very pigmented. Like, it's a pretty nude shade, but I feel like I have other ones that are just so similar. It feels wrong to keep it, so I'm going to get rid of it. I need to be a little bit more brutal here just because it's unnecessary for me to have all of these. Laga Cloud Lips lipstick in the shade Sun Shower. This is like a bright, hot pink. And I do feel like I want one of these like hot pink shades in my collection because I just don't really have any. One that I do have though that I'm gonna get rid of, I think, is All Fired Up by Maybelline. I love the Maybelline lipstick formula, but this one is just like a straight up neon lipstick shade. Like that is neon. And I much prefer something like this that is just more of like a hot pink that's like really fun for summer, but it's not like neon. So I'm gonna get rid of that Maybelline one. I'm gonna keep this lacquer one, or however you pronounce that brand. Okay, I have a Maybelline Color Jolt. This is in the shade Berry Naughty. I have never worn this. I have kept it through different declutters because I felt like eventually I would wear it. I'm never going to wear this. I feel like it's just, it's not the type of formula I go for normally. And while it is a really pretty shade, I know I'm never gonna reach for this. I know myself, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I've got some lip liners here, so let's see what we have. I feel like I'm missing one. I have, oh, I know it. I have this e.l.f. Dusty Rose lip liner. I'm keeping this. This is like up in my little holder or whatever that I keep on my vanity because I know I'm keeping that, but anyways. I have a CoverGirl Lip Perfection Lip Pencil in the shade Smoky Intense. I really like this. I use it for more like warm lipsticks because it is more of like a warm earthy shade. I'm also going to keep this Milani Statement Lip Liner in 04 All Natural. I really, really love this lip liner. It's such a great lip liner to go with so many different nude lipsticks and it's just really really great and I've used pretty much all of it so I'm gonna finish it up. This is a lip liner from the local hair salon that I talked about. Um, same as that lipstick. I don't really know how I feel about this lip liner and it's kind of messed up so I don't even think I could use that. It's in the shade Raspberry Waterproof Gel Lip Liner. Yeah this is just like a local brand. I'm just gonna get rid of this because I don't really think I'll ever wear a lip liner like this. The NYX Lip Liner in Cabaret. And this ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade R and B. These are both like deep shades, deep wine kind of fall shades, but they're different. They're kind of like different tones. Like the R and B shade is more of like a purpley tone. And the NYX one is more of like that berry shade. So I think I'm gonna keep both. 
just because I do like a deep lip liner if I'm doing like a darker lip. Guys, we're almost done here. Okay, I don't know why this e.l.f. thing is in here. This is a gloss stick in Fresh Morning Dew. It's like a cheek highlighter, like a cheek gloss stick. I don't know. It's not really anything I ever use. I use it a couple of times on top of highlight to make it look like more dewy. So maybe I should keep it for that. I don't really know though. But if I do, it doesn't belong in my lip drawer. Like this is not a lip product. A bite lip product. This is a matte cream lip crayon in Glacé. That's the shade, Glacé. This is pretty. I know I wanna keep this because it's like a really pretty, kind of like mauve -y tone. And uh, I just cannot bring myself to get rid of any Bite lip products because Bite lip products are just so good. They're just so beautiful. Last two lip products are the Megalass lipsticks by Wet n Wild. These are in the shades Mocha Licious and Bear It All. I love both of these. I'm keeping both of them. That's everything that's in this box. But then I've got the few products that are here on the Maybe pile. I am just gonna go ahead and get rid of this Flower Beauty lip gloss because while it is really pretty, I'm never going to wear it. I'm gonna keep the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color because it's just, it's really, it's really beautiful formula. I am gonna keep the Revlon lip gloss though just because it is something I don't really have anything like. It's just a pretty bright pink color and I don't really have anything else like this. So I am gonna keep that one. Let's go ahead and wipe off the rest of these swatches. This is ridiculous. <laughs> these are the lip products that I'm gonna be getting rid of. Um, these are the ones that I'm keeping. So I feel like I did pretty good because I got rid of at least a third of all my lip products, if not more, at least a third of them. So I feel like that's definitely good. I definitely downsized. I have some friends who I know will be very happy to go through some of these lip products and take some. There might be some in here that I need to throw away. I guess we'll see. I'll go through that later, but those are the lip products I'm getting rid of. These are the ones that I'm keeping. And uh, I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I really hope that maybe it gave you some decluttering inspiration. I'm sorry for the length of it. I know it was really long. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna link my other declutters in the description box so you guys can check them out. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They are linked in the description box. And uh, that's everything. Those are all my lip products. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.